Stussy. Stussy 2019. I mentioned previously before, Stussy are one of my favorite brands out at the moment. They're doing some fucking great work. Um, Stussy 4 2019 collection lookbook has been launched just now. Uh, photographed by Mark Lebon, I'm, I'm assuming. Standard um, standard jobby there. Mark or Tyron, one of the Lebons. One of those guys that does amazing analog fucking pictures. They always great, do great pictures. I'm not sure they're analog or digital, but wherever they are, they're always fucking amazing. Um, yeah, great lookbook as per usual. Again, I'm not sure why Stussy doesn't get more hype, more, more kind of traction on social media, but their collections so far since the kind of rebrand and the reintroduction back into the you know into into the current conversation i'm not sure what who i'm not sure who's responsible for it or who's driving that drive in the creative team or whatever they're doing there but <laughs> congratulations on everything you've done bro because it's always fucking sick the lookbook looks amazing um they've got this i got up on here on the screen from high snobiety i'll link in the show notes for you guys to see for yourselves but the lookbook looks fucking sick got one image here at the top you got a sort of like is that a tie-dye pinstripe shirt right really nice done probably look nice heavy fabric a nice knitted um hat and a beanie hat there with the stussy uh script or logo written on it on the front which is in black and white which is kind of you know it's going to be an instant hit that one nice sunglasses you've got the oh you've got that great s on the jumpers too that looks fucking amazing you got this nice green fleece. They're doing good fleeces. That scarf looks fucking great. It looks like all the it looks like all the little pieces of material you pick up when you go to Bali or something, right? It looks fucking cool there. Oh yeah, it's Mark Lebon that took the pictures. Um, you've got a nice uh, little Parisian hat um, as well. It looks really cool. A nice jumper that reminds you of stuff from the eighties or seventies. A nice boxy shape on the jumper as well. Just fucking immensely nice. Like that shirt is fucking banging. It's like a is that a shirt or jacket? I don't know. It's like a, a mechanic shirt, right? With the Stushi logo, pinstripe. You've got yellow plaid trousers. You've got studded belts. Woohoo! I'm all over that belt, man. That belt looks fucking sick. I'm not sure if that's a jacket or if that's a, a, a long sleeve shirt under the jacket, but the styling on this lookbook is fucking banging. It's so good. You've got another plaid shirt here, plaid or plaid fleece in yellow and black. Looks really nice. Yeah, an orange hood. And yeah, just in general, just a really fucking good collection. Um, you've got another bit of lookbook here down below. I'm going to quickly scan through. Plaid shirt, nice half zips. Oh, they've got some nice combat trousers there, it looks like, with pouches inside. A bucket hat. That I'd love. I would, I would love to wear bucket hats again, man, but my head is so fucking large. It's insane how large my head is. Um, and this hair doesn't help either, but yeah. Bucket hat looks fucking amazing. Nice little warm-up jacket. A nice kind of patchwork shirt. It looks similar to something that Noel would do or put together. That looks really nice. I like the look of that one as well. What else do you have here? Oh, love that t-shirt. That kind of t-shirt. That kind of color on the black dudes always looks nice anyway, but those trousers look nice. Nice loafers. Maybe it's a collaboration as well. A loafer collaboration. Oh, those 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 pants are great. I like this. Remember I said about loafers and pants? I love it when Stussy does it. Any other brand does it? Go fuck yourself. Stussy, I support you. <laughs> um, hypocrite? Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, let's go. Contradiction? Yeah. Uh, but what can you do? Um, they've got a nice little tactical vest here or fishing vest. I'm not sure what you'd call it. Very nice. Um, a nice little shadow plaid shirt, we'd call it. Some nice uh, pleated trousers. Yeah, some good shorts for the winter times when you're feeling frisky. Lep what is that? Camera print trousers with some nice little um, Stussy embellishment. And is that a uh, corduroy jumper? Or a velvet jumper. I don't know what that is, but it looks very nice. But in general, really cool. Is there any coincidence that both dudes have mustaches? I'm not sure if that's a thing coming back in in vogue at the moment. Everyone's got a tash on at the moment. I'm not really game for it because, you know, just don't like tashes. I think it makes me look like a rapist. Or I look like a, um, um, what they call them on the internet, a nonce, right? <laughs> I don't think that's a great way to go about things. But, you know, what can you do? I'm not calling these guys nonces, by the way, for your information. I'm just saying, myself, I don't think I look too good with a tash on. But, yeah, big up to Ducey, um, doing the God's work. Stucy Holiday Collection is going to, is dropping on the 25th. So that is sometime very soon. So check that out if you are that way inclined. Stushi Forward in the collection will be available at all your favorite Stushi outlets. I feel like got a, they got their own store, right? You can purchase from as well. But if you're if you live in London, you can also check out their store in London too. But yeah, good work from Stussy. I'm a fan of that collection. One of my favorites, actually. I, I think Stussy do really good work. People are, people really underest people don't talk about Stussy enough. For what they kind of went through, that whole kind of, you know, when Sean when, when Sean Stussy left and they went through this weird period of, you know, it was a bit shit, it got a bit stagnant. For them to come back and rise from the embers, especially when you see some of the stuff that Bape are doing nowadays. Oof, so garbage, right? Babe sponsoring some F1 thing I saw the other day. Like, just that Puma jacket that AJ Tracy was wearing. I still can't get over how shit that was. Um, so many misses. So for Stussy to be still smashing it now, congratulations and kudos to everyone involved on that team, mate. Doing a good job. If if you if you wanted my approval, you got it. 
Uh, next on the list, what do we have here? Would the body ba 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 ba? We have oh, we have um uh, powers for nineteen collection. I only mention this because Eric Elms is a legend. I worked with him previously at the previous company I worked for. Um, he is responsible for some of the coolest graphics that you would know from back in the day of Supreme and a New York thing. Big up Aaron Bondaroff, wherever you may be. Hold your head up high, dog. Um, yeah, Eric Elms has got this brand called Power Supply that's uh, Power, Power Supply that's doing really well. A really small capsule collection, really small kind of streetwear collection that he kind of puts out um, season after season. But again, I just love it because it to me represents what I fell in love about, what I fell in love with streetwear back in the day, right? These kind of really um, gritty and not gritty, but these kind of really, you know, stark contrast analog film pictures, um, really basic items, hats, beanies, t-shirts, hoodies, a lot of keychains. You know what I mean? Like just the quintessential streetwear items. You know those kind of line sheets you'd get with the hats and the jumpers and the long sleeve. What I see streetwear as, like the kind of quintessential video of it, can't sell that stuff can go there further down the line, but just the staples, the kush jacket, that's what I love. That essence of it. And of course, he took this lookbook to Tokyo, it looks like, in Japan for the four women lookbook. Here's it is on, on Hypebeast. I'll link it again in the show notes so you guys check out yourself. Um, on the first shot, we have a nice t-shirt. We have a beanie. We have a uh, a hat in kind of a burgundy colorway with powers written in the front of it a nice kind of college font which is going to be very good i like that kind of look we've got the same in a jumper we've got a native uh long sleeve we've got is that is that shirt there underneath there part of it hell on earth that might be part of the collection as well maybe not we've got a nice little jumper again just a very cool and tasteful lookbook done in a really cool way we've got the infamous uh, logo that he put together that's also featured in a book that I have somewhere around there. I have an Eric Owens book somewhere around there, but I can't get it out now. But yeah, in a jumper as well. You got the power powers um snapback hat again, which I think is gonna be very popular. Um that's that's shin, isn't it? Yeah. Um we should do stuff with ADAS there as well. Uh power hoodie again in a t shirt and in a hoodie. You also have these cool glasses that look great. You have that great logo and that kind of um what's your camp cat which looks amazing. And it's really, really tastefully done um, streetwear. This is what I imagined, you know, OG streetwear to be like. And I, I really like the the logo he has with the with the screw. I think that was really cool. I think if I was in another industry, or if I lived, if I had another life, I think I'd get that um, as a tattoo somewhere on my arm. That screw powers, <laughs> maybe written something else on it. Um, maybe persistent or something. I think I don't know. There's something I do with that screw. I think that look really cool as a tattoo. Actually, it's like a tattoo um in a, a, ve a vector illustration of a tattoo essentially if you're just doing the podcast but yeah really great tastefully done again like i mentioned loads of long sleeve shirts here on the instagram post a couple of hoodies some sweatpants hats and a couple of accessories just really standard streetwear what i why i kind of fell in love with back in the day amazing stuff loads of nice t-shirts loads of nice tops and sweats and pants and stuff and again coming from an actual og from the scene i recommend you guys real try and support this and and kind of you know give him all your love and all your support throw your money at his online store and buy as much as you can um yeah i'm a big fan of eric comes what he does um it's going to be online it's online now available now for you to purchase so yeah check that out if you're that way inclined if you're a fan of all the og streetwear stuff from back in the day and you're a fan of what they used to do back in the day from supreme and, and new york thing then eric Holmes is your guy so I definitely recommend you check it out um, it's available now at what's his website uh, powers.supply available now www.powers.supply uh, for in the collection from powers really nice lookbook altogether I like it it's amazing it's great check it out don't waste your time